<laughs> all right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. My name is Nick. As always, you guys can call me Touch Ninja, and I welcome you to part two of my Days Gone Let's Play walkthrough. If you're watching this right away, you're probably a bit confused wondering where part one is. Part one is coming tomorrow, but I am allowed to show you guys an hour of gameplay. About an hour into the game, I can't show you the very beginning because of embargo and all that stuff due to the fact that this copy of the game was provided by our good friends at Sony PlayStation Canada and they have what you say, Manny? rules that they would like to enforce, which is fine. Full Let's Play walkthrough starts tomorrow. But I thought you guys would appreciate a quick look into this game right now, just to kind of give you guys a taste of what it's all about. So far, it's giving me some uh, The Last of Us vibes, just without the partner. I'd say if I were to use like generic terms, 80-85% of the quality of The Last of Us, which is pretty good. The Last of Us is the bar pretty high. And we are moving on because we need to find some stuff for our bro. And let's get going. Booster, you there? Yeah, Deke. Uh, how you doing? How's the arm? Like I said, I'll be fine. Okay, uh, I'm still gonna head to that Nero checkpoint, find some uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment, something. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna go out and make sure the mountain's clear. Booster, no, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. I guess, um, I guess, uh, you know, I could, I could use something for the pain. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll see what I can find, I guess. So yeah, I can show you guys about an hour of gameplay. Uninterrupted, unedited, uncensored. So I'll we'll probably split that between two episodes. So you guys will get part two and three today, and then... This is it. The Nero checkpoint. I gotta find some shit for boozers. Oh, oh shit. You saw me. You heard me right away. Oh! <laughs> Damn, just came out swinging. Jesus, dude. Popped you in the face, and you just still swung at me. So it's very much a survival game. Lots of stealth. Lots of hunting and gathering. I don't know how that other guy saw me so quickly. One second here. Boo. Wow, how was that a headshot? Oh, bitch. Wow, dude. So you have your eagle vision to activate. Oh, I thought I hit someone. Wow. Maybe I should save my. I'm gonna save my ammunition. Go hard in it with a baseball bat. Mock trout style. You also have this crossbow. It's a little bit, there's a lot of drop off. It takes a bit to use. As you can see, there's a lot of gathering of materials. What is this thing? Lawnmower machete. That is gonna be vicious. Cracker open. Ooh. I got a use for you. You can make silencers out of these. That's money in the bank. 
generator. There's gotta be a generator here somewhere. Bingo, here it is. Gas can. We got guys hold out in the corner here. Hoo hoo hoo, baby! Yee! I hear you in there. I hear you in there. Make ball tops, the bottles, as well as the cloths. Look at this makeshift suppressor, dude. This is straight up like Carl from The Walking Dead. Carl! Carl! Okay. Fuel? Glug, 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 drink up. Son of a bitch, you better start. Yes. Oh, damn it. That's gonna bring him all down on me. Oh, come on, really? You got to me. You really could have told me about the whole speaker thing before. Yep, burn to hell. Burn, baby. Yeah. I got him. Shut the hell up! Oh, come on. Alright. Sterile bandages, sterile bandages, where the hell would they keep this shit? Yeah. Got a jackpot, man. A little treasure trove of items here. Maybe I should close the door. No, I can't leave without sterile bandages. Yeah, don't do that. I don't want you to do that. I gotta keep searching the mobile medical unit. I'm assuming it's gonna be in there, but let's gather everything else first. <sighs> Sterile bandages. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, sterile bandages. Just what the doctor ordered. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. How oh, hello. Oof. What's this? Nero tank. Ah, uh, some sort of a injector of some kind. Huh, why the hell not? Yeah, focus. You gotta focus. <laughs> We're so high right now. <laughs> Straight up doping. I'm wondering is there still gas in this thing? Because we can top off our bike. Gimme. Give me that kerosene!
Boozer, you there? Boozer, goddammit, answer me. <sighs> He's not picking up. Where the hell is he? Damn it, Boozer. Need this. Done. So this bike, <gasps> although you may not be able to tell, is kind of gangster. Jesus, this isn't a goddamn bike. As you hear. <laughs> <laughs> Him express his displeasure. Yeah. What the hell? You guys came back again? I leave for one second. You guys come back. We had a pretty pimped out ride at the beginning. We had Noss and everything. This is Cole. When you get to the tower, my radio uplink has been shut down. I'll pay you to restore it. So these men, you know them? Because shutting down Radio Free Oregon seems kind of personal. Goddamn right it's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. Seems they didn't like the rules against stealing, raping, murder. Maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. One more thing. When they left, it appears they may have stolen some automatic rifles and a few shotguns. Watch yourself. Jesus, Cope, thanks for the heads up. I do what I can. Go out. Do what you can, son of a bitch. Oh dear. It's not the most secure vehicle in the zombie apocalypse. I guess it would be the most fastest, but he just left to. Left out to be grabbed. Boozer, you better not be playing me, dude. Rag, bottle of beer. Hey, Boozer. I, uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Shit. Boozer! Hey! Whoa, ah! Hurry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Could have blown your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got it. Come this. on, let me see that. Look, arm. I Come got on. it. All right. <sighs> Just trying to help, man. Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. You're welcome. Want me go find that radio tower now? Fine. Fine. Ah! Dang, straight up swinging. All right, let's go find that camp. I, if I could walk a little bit faster, but there, there you go, there you go, you got it. Deke just wanted to strut his stuff just for a tiny bit, you know? It's kind of weird, the crouch button being. I flipped it. I flipped it to L1. Oh. Our makeshift little gas station. Why don't we take his bike? That's what I want to know. Make us ride around in this thing. Go. Although it takes away from the immersion a tiny bit, I would have liked to see the waypoints on the trail. They kind of all look the same, all muddy and gross. Just, a, just some arrows here once in a while. Wouldn't hurt. Would not hurt. Get 
it is pretty much so far open. From what I can tell, I can gather it is. Okay, we need to take this camp. Rode a little bit too close in, gave away my position. So I'm wondering if there is a way to come around to the back side of the camp. You know what was really stupid is that a bunch of wolves in the wild just started attacking me. Which is real dumb. I would prefer to do things as stealthily as possible. That's just my jam. So let's see if this works. I don't want to blow my ammo load at the beginning of this game. Mark. Easy. Take it. We got zombies. Dumb shit. What do you mean? Bastard's probably got a price on our head already. Now we know just where to look. Shit. I didn't think that... Well, you got something right for once in your shitty life. You didn't think. You didn't think when you got cuts. <sighs> what the hell is that? Who's out there? Oh, that was loud. Uh that was quite the visual glitch if I ever saw one. That guy should have been dead. So there's a, uh, if you look at the bottom right hand corner, there's like an indicator for sound. So if you walk really loudly. Oh, like flicker. Is there a guy in the tower? They all carry flashlights. Careful. I need to get a viewpoint of all of them. So I've killed, what, five now? So... If the math's correct. I should need five more. Oh shit, he's fucking right there. Turn around. I don't think you can see that far though, right? <laughs> so I see th uh -huh. Found you. All right, there. 
That's all of them. Night throat slash. Oh, shit. Men coming! Grab cover! I got you. Oh my god, really? We got this! Whatever, dude. Look out! Find cover! He killed him! Two more. Oh, you betcha I killed him. Killed him dead. Shoot the smoke! Hard to pull off a headshot from the distance. That's the last of them. Jesus, Cove, how many men have you pissed off? Lots. Lots. Sterilizer. Alright. This has got to be the generator, but it's been shot to hell. Whew. Call me MacGyver. Should do it. Flip the switch. Need this more than you. Flip the switch when I'm goddamn ready to flip the switch. Let me just raid some bodies here. Lawnmower machete again. Right, let's just see what's in this side of the shed real quick now. Sawed off shotguns kind of limited. Trap door here. Grab the ammo. Yeah, there's a w there's items in this basement area. It looks like there's some sort of trap door to get down there, but I can't do it right now. Open sesame! Didn't work. Alright, let's flip the switch. There we go. Drop it! Oh! If you had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing now, would I? Please, mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go. Jesus Christ. Oh, there you go. All right. Let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so impatient. Here's the hatch. Yeah. No, you had one. Bust out that flashlight. What you got? What you got? What you got?
Hey, this is handy. A map. All marked up. Yeah, at night. Guess they won't be needing it <laughs> Not anymore. Dick, you there? It's probably nothing. You sounded like bike engines, riding somewhere on the mountain. I just finished clearing the radio tower for Copeland. I'm, I'm gonna climb the tower, see if I can see anything. Gun locker. Access my guns. I thought I could maybe store my AK in there and then I can go pack pick up my assault <laughs> rifle. Guess not. Hey Deke, you okay? You don't sound like like yourself. It's uh, it's nothing. You know, I just let this drifter get the drop on me. Lucky for me she was uh out of ammo. You let her go, didn't you? Okay, yeah, fuck. Yes, yes, I let her go. One of these days, Deke, that code of yours is gonna get you killed. Yeah, well, something's gonna do it, right? Does it matter what? Deacon out. Deacon's such a nice guy. The most riveting of gameplays. <laughs> the ladder climb, hey. Jesus, what a climb. It works for Snake. All right, let's see what the hell Boozer's talking about. We're right, someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Oh, son of a bitch, I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Oh, shit. It's just... I'm going a little stir crazy here, Dick. Just try to stay awake in case they head your way. Dick and out. Almost there. Yeah, come on, keep going. Almost there. Kinda wish there was a way to slide down. Oh, shit's killing me. I have to keep Boozer alive. That is our objective. Smoke on the mountain. Alright. Back to our bicycle that we parked here. Chopper to chopper. Kind of a dead giveaway if you're on top of the mountain, lighting a fire. St. John to Copeland's camp. It's done. The radio tower's locked down. I've restored your radio uplink. Copy that. You may not see the value in St. John. Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. <laughs> I'll cope the only thing keeping us from turning into savages is about nine square meals. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're wrong about that. Copeland out. Radio Free Oregon. Jesus, what have I done? Booze man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, it might be an ambush camp. I'll find out when I get there. Deacon out. Again. Booze man, you were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. Kill every one of the sons of bitches. That was kind of the plan. Deacon out. <laughs> 